All right, people, gang. Sort of have a bit of a look and see uh, how much damage there is because um, I don't know. Christy really doesn't want to keep her car anymore. She's kind of over it. And, uh, yeah, I may be able to pick up some panels and. Might be able to do something with it. Just get it to a get it to a drivable state. Probably get a little bit more money for it um, in a drivable state than uh, as it looks right now. So anyway, um, mm. Pull a couple of more bits off and see how we go. Got a couple of buddies that own wrecking yards, and maybe they can, maybe they can do me a favour. We'll just hope so. Right, anyway, we'll see. Well, now the bar irons off it. Oh, not be so bad. Over here doesn't look terrible. It's kind of. Can bang that back into shape, that's not a big deal. A little bit of a dent there, and I think this side's probably not bad. Go on here a little bit. I think if I can if I can get a radiator support, unpick the welds off here to leave the headlight support mounting business there. Possibly the same because that's only sheet metal. A lot of this is just rip the welds out. Um, knock this back into shape. Bring that back in. Straighten that out. Probably get a I don't know, I come along or something and so I can whip that out a little further. Oh, no, good. Meat wagon. Um, yeah. Just replace this top section. Maybe, maybe this section here too. Looks like it's gone anywhere else, really. I think we could probably bang on most of this stuff out. Make it, uh, maybe make it a little closer to the shape it should be. <coughs> um, I don't think it's going to be too much of a drama, but it's got to be worth more if I can at least get a front back on it, <coughs> so that uh, you know, we get, if it's worth 400 in the wrecking yard, if I can snabble a couple of bits for free. Again, see most of these cars are all the same as this, that's why they're in the wreckers because they've been punched in the front. But, um, yeah, she might be able to get a grand for it, maybe, with uh, I might be able to get a grand for it in the driving, you know, so it's in a, if, if it's in a fashion where you can actually drive it, on a little close and put another headlight in it, another indicator. And, hmm. 
think I might have to go and just piss in a couple of pockets of some of my buddies and see what we can see what we can come up with. Well, we don't want to go spending a heap of money on it. Like the car's only worth a, you know, fifteen hundred bucks in good condition. And then swindle someone a thousand bucks out of someone for it. Well, that'll be a lot better. It doesn't look as bad as what it first did. Uh, Christy appreciates all you guys saying thankfully no one was hurt. And uh, I, uh, I appreciate it too, Bells. Thanks for that. Hmm. Uh, Let's see what we can do. the most expensive bit's going to be the bonnet I'm thinking. I might be able to get one that's a bit better shape than that. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's a plan. I think that's a plan. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Alright guys. Have yourselves a good one. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's what it will do. See you later. Mm, it's dark now. I'm blaming you guys for this. You know what I've been up to? <coughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay, well, okay. Well, it's all gone. And we've got that now. I can get in there. Doesn't look like there's anything massively damaged inside under the... You know, just haven't hit the battery tray. The radiator's still full of water. Pretty much this section in here, I think. See it there? That's hitting up against the uh, condenser. So by the time I bring that around, I should be able to pop the condenser back into its hole. The radiator back into its, its hole. Yeah, so... She's gone in there, but I think I'll be sorry to get that out. I might have to, I'll probably have to remove the radiator and stuff like that, I guess, to get that out. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens. A bit of kink there. She's a bit off shape there. And up here, of course. All around in there. Well, I think I could be. I think I could be, could be all right. Next thing is um, talking a buddy into um, <laughs> see how genuine, it, see how generous he can be. See if he can give it to me for mates' rates. That'll be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it's getting dark. I don't know what time it is. Probably five thirty or six o'clock or something. And. Uh, Close this up and uh, let's see. Wait a minute. Get that back up in there. Oh, I thought it's even better. Get this one up in here. Okay. 
So, uh, woohoo! Like that. There you go. So, yeah, I think, um, I think the only thing that's going to, uh, I think it's going to be a problem with it. I think, I think, I think old matey will look after me. I hope so. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, have a good one, guys. Gang. <laughs>